What's up, y'all? It's that run kind of brand night and dark. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Dominic Speeding Ticket. Alright, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and get into it. I'm trying to. Blah, I'm trying to film me a video as I can since I'm, I'm on my bye week. You know, for football and stuff. You know. And today, we have practice, so you know, I'm trying to film at least about five, six videos I can give it to y'all. Cause you know, I ain't posted in at least about two, three weeks. So you know, I'm trying to give it to y'all, man. We're on the road 500, man. Black get into it. Hello, hello. This video has been brought to you by NordVPN. Nord! Use the code DOMIX at nordvpn.com slash DOMIX for 66% off a two year plan. Why do you need a plan for a VPN, though? With all of the videos I've made about driving and my complaints about other people's abilities behind the wheel, you'd assume I'm a pretty good driver with no record. <laughs> Wrong. I am a filthy hypocrite. Last year, I got a ticket for speeding Look in a school sunny. zone, which, if you didn't know, is an automatic fail on your driving test. Actually, looking back, I technically wasn't in the school zone yet, and I was just trying to keep up with traffic. But I'll own up to my ignorance and admit that I didn't realize I was actually going that fast. You can tell that specific area is a hot spot for speeders because there's a nice little nest for them Dodge Chargers to perch on. Mm. I sped past an incognito cop, saw the flashing lights in my mirror, and I after some initial delusion that <laughs> it wasn't for me, no, can't possibly be. Nah, no, everybody be. I pulled over. Now, I got my driver's license when I was 21. Might seem a little late to some of you because you probably started driving right when you hit puberty. I know, you don't need to tell me. You're probably 5'11 at the age of 13 and feel the need to remind me that I'm short. I know, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> but do know that I was a university student who commuted every day to school in a city where it's a nightmare to drive. So the only times I could drive was during my free time on the weekends, which was usually non-existent. It wasn't worth paying insurance to be an inactive driver. But I eventually got a part-time job and decided on getting my G2 soon after my 21st birthday. And for the next six years until last year, I was never in an accident nor ticketed for vehicular misconduct. And then I went 80 in a school zone, <laughs> which is an unacceptable amount past the 40 km per hour limit. As competent of a driver as I believe to be, I probably deserve How that. How did you not realize you're going that fast in know the how school? fast you were going, Yo. Spiel, and I was nothing but cooperative in the conversation. Officer, I was going so fast that you're not even speaking to me. This is just my after image. He asked for my license, insurance policy, I and I want to say that one day. Cool. Here's my license and my insurance policy. And let me just get my other document from the the empty glove compartment. Why are my documents not here? Oh yeah, that's right. I recently got my car detailed and took everything out and forgot to put it back in. Shit. Uh Sir, are you aware that your policy expired a month ago? Damn. <laughs> no. Please remain in your car. The police officer went back inside his car for a few minutes. I assume he went to check my records. And then he returned to my car. He saw that my record was clean and decided to cut me some slack. I understand this is your first offense, but I'm still gonna have to ticket you for speeding. Damn. But I'll only mark you for going 10 over, all right? <laughs> I can waive your other charges if you can provide those documents in court. You'll be contacted for an appointed date. Thank you, officer. I really appreciate it. All right, you have a good day, sir. Ooh, How? You okay. just gave me a ticket. I maintained a 10 kilometer per hour speed below the limit for the next few weeks. The next day, I immediately went to go pay the speeding ticket. And then I got my documents together for the court hearing that was scheduled four months later. Oh and so my! I waited for the date to arrive. As it approached, I remember working on a video deadline and staying up late one night. The court hearing was the next day at 10 oh a.m. And I remember contemplating whether to just stay awake for a few more hours until then. I spent too long thinking about it that I was already on that path. But somehow, I didn't make it for 10 a.m. I didn't make it to 11. In fact, I didn't even wake up at noon. I somehow fell asleep and woke up at 4 p.m. Holy sh! The I like jumped me, up from my bed so violently that I ended up on the roof of my condo building. 
much. I didn't know what to do. I looked up the number for the courthouse and called. Voicemail said they were closed. I checked their hours to call the next day. They were closed on weekends. Oh my girth. I remember reading in the letter or somewhere that if you are absent without informing the court prior to the date, the judge can issue a warrant for your arrest. And I know it was just a speeding ticket with failure to provide some documents, but <laughs> I panicked. I called 911. Hello, what is your emergency? Hi, this this isn't an emergency. I I just wasn't sure what number to call. Someone probably got murdered because I occupied the line. <laughs> I explained my situation, and although I could feel how much of an idiot she thought I was, she was helpful and explained my options, which were nothing. I simply had to wait for Monday to call the court again. And when I did, I was informed that not only was I absent, but so was the officer that ticketed me. And I believed my charges would have been waived if I was just there, but because we both weren't, they rescheduled the hearing. And you bet your gas hole I didn't sleep in that time. <laughs> they usually group a couple hearings together because many are short and get resolved quickly. The person in line in front of me turned around and did a double take. Are you Domix? What an inconvenient place for a fan to recognize Hey man, that would be nice. Just lie. Yeah, that's me. I'm just here for a speeding ticket. How about you? I ran a red light and killed a family. I'm just kidding, but I remember it being more serious than a speeding ticket. Anyway, the police officer that ticketed me came into the room and approached me. He seemed almost hospitable with what he told me to do and say once my name was called up and assured me that I'd be okay. I mean, I knew my offense wasn't that serious, but he kind of seemed like a bro for making sure things went smoothly. I don't know, maybe it was just me. <laughs> uh, Mr. P... Ponjabob? That sounds awfully close to a butchering of my last name. I sure hope someone <laughs> in here is actually named Ponjabob. I guess that's a no. Nobody here? Hmm? Okay, yeah, that's me. Man, I'm really glad that cop cut me some slack. But you know who wouldn't be as nice? <laughs> Freaking hackers. If you guys want peace of mind... Okay, 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 okay. We all we all we. Alright, y'all. Y'all know we get a like, comment, share, subscribe. We add it, bit. Hey, man. Y'all make sure y'all get these thumbs up, bro. Get them thumbs up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get them thumbs up. Hey, man. We try and get 500, man. We add it, bit, boy. Huh?